Okay. I don't know what to tell you guys. All of the stories this week are just, they're just about coronavirus. I probably look insane. So uh, let me just adjust some things here. That's a little bit better. But hey, welcome everybody to another wonderful Weeaboo Wednesday. So yeah, like I said, almost like all of the stories this week are completely just about, oh, this got canceled, that got canceled because of coronavirus, this got delayed. All of the news is about coronavirus, and I'm sorry, but I really just, I'm sick of talking about it. I'm sick of hearing about it, and I'm sure you guys are too. Is this an interesting and iconic time in American history? Sure, yeah, this is, I wouldn't, I mean, maybe not iconic, but this is certainly an interesting period of history, but uh, I just don't care. I mean, I care, but not enough to imbue it into my videos. So let's talk about something more interesting. Here's an interesting story. There is actually already talks of what the next big project will be from the producer of the coming Final Fantasy VII remake. So yeah, now that the game's pretty much done, we're just basically waiting for it to show up in our houses, we're actually gonna be getting it next month and it would seem that the producer has already announced that he would like to work on something else. Yoshinori Kitase actually said in an interview that he would like to see Final Fantasy V get a remake. Now, Final Fantasy V was also one of the first games that he actually worked on back for the Super Nintendo back in 1992. So that's a pretty big deal. And he said that it would be cool to do and interesting because it's never been redone before with that sort of realistic style. Obviously enough, Final Fantasy V was left alone after it was made. Sure, it was ported over and you know localized for America, but they never actually did much else with it. So, seeing as everybody and their mom is anticipating Final Fantasy VII's remake, why wouldn't they maybe want another game? Sure, Final Fantasy VII is more iconic in the gaming world, but hell, if this one's good, then I don't see why there would be any reason for him to not work on another remake, so we'll see. This one's really interesting to me because it's an old favorite of pretty much anybody who's into anime. Akira is actually getting a 4K remaster, and it's even being premiered in Japan at movie theaters. Who knows how that's going to go with the whole COVID-19 scare. They're probably going to push it back, but apparently next month in April, in early April, they were supposed to bring it out to theaters. So we'll see if that happens. But regardless of that, it would seem that later on in April, they also plan to release the Blu-ray of it in both Japan and in America. I'm not quite sure if those releases will be at the same time, but it does say in kind of one sentence that they do plan to release it in Japan and America. Though, I can only imagine that Japan might get it first and then some company's going to have to pick it up over here. Who knows, but I'm excited for that because Akira could certainly use a 4K release, especially in this day and age, why not? Don't screw it up though. I'm sure that there's going to be people that are gonna be like, oh, it's cropped weird, it looks like crap. I, look, I just want a modern, good, clean copy of it, so long as it's not the live action one. Yokai Gakuen Y, YY Gakuen Seikatsu is the newest game from level five of the Yokai Watch series. This of course is going to follow Yokai Gakuen, which is Yokai Academy. And the title of the game is actually Yokai Academy Y, Lively Academy Life, which is cool. It's apparently a game where you will play as someone enrolled in the Yokai Academy and you'll have a special yokai power watch or something like that that will allow you to transform into a sort of yokai hero and fight other evil yokai. So that's awesome. Yokai Watch is continuing onward and I'm so happy because I love the Yokai Watch series and the fact that they remade it as Yokai Gakuen is pretty interesting. It's a nice take on the series. It's much different than the much more childish Yokai Watch and I'm just excited to see another game coming out. That's going to release on PlayStation 4 and also Nintendo Switch this summer. Now, of course, that's Japanese, so if it ever does get localized in America, that could take probably two years or more, depending on the way that they do it, because the Yokai Watch games have had terrible release schedules here in the United States. But, fingers crossed, hopefully it comes over, because if not, I might just have to buy it in Japanese to check it out. The Switch is region-free. 
Oh, this is cool. Uh, Glipnir is an anime that I talked about before. It's mainly something that I got into because, well, I don't know if I got into it, but I saw the cover of the manga and I was like, dang. And yeah, so the previous trailer was a little less than we would maybe want, but with the release coming up April 5th, they released this new trailer and it shows a lot more. There's a bit more risque, exciting kind of sexy stuff, as well as even some action, which is awesome because that's what we want from this. It's going to be a pretty crazy action, creepy series. I don't even know what to really classify it as, but it looks awesome. And I'm excited to see that even Millie is going to be doing the opening theme. We talked about Millie recently because she is doing the opening for the new Ghost in the Shell series as well. So it's nice to see Millie getting more work. I'm happy to say that. And I was just trying to pad this out to talk more so that you could watch more of this awesome trailer. So when Glipnir starts up next month, definitely check it out because you might still be locked in your house thanks to the coronavirus. And our final story today is about Kyoto Animation, which is really awesome to see something good coming from them. Not to say that they don't do good things, I'm saying that it's good to have good news and Kyoto Animations in the same sentence. So yes, it's good news because it would seem that Kyoto Animations is going to allow 17 different works of theirs to go up online on Nico Nico Doga for people to watch for completely free. As part of the N Anime Special Channel, they will be airing this from the 16th of March until the 31st of March for people to be able to go and watch these series. KyoAni is offering this as part of the Summer Vacation Youth Anime Special, so it's just something to help out kids that are stuck at home for summer vacation and want to have something cool to watch. I guess, that sounds great, I'm happy to see that. But yeah, there's a lot of iconic series up there. You have stuff like Haruhi Suzumiya, Clanad, you have Air, which is super old. I didn't even know that was Kyoto Animation. Uh, and quite a few others, a lot of great stuff. So if you're into watching anime for free, oh, k is part of it as well, which is great. So yeah, if you wanna see all this stuff, go to Nico Nico Doga and check out that channel to watch the Kyoto Animation stuff until the end of the month, basically. And that's really all I have. It sucks because a lot of the announcements were really boring and getting through stuff was a pain because every other story is just coronavirus this, coronavirus that. And there's really just not that much interesting going on for me to talk about. And I think this is going to potentially be a problem going forward because we have to realize that with the economy getting so screwed up because of people not being able to work and then people not being able to go out and shop and money not being able to be exchanged, there's going to be a lot of stuff held back. We're probably not going to see a serious pickup in production on things for quite some time. Obviously enough, there will be a bid to get people's attention from home as they're stuck there and stuff like that, but I think that a lot of major events are going to probably postpone until next year, if not later. Who knows, I don't even really get it, but I mean, there's going to be a lot of production holding back and stuff like that because of the fact that, well, people just aren't able to get out. It's going to be rough and uh, hopefully the news gets more interesting because I am so sick of reading about things getting canceled. It's just like, it's not even news at this point. Like we pretty much expect it, so. Oh, and yet again, I got another email with the most recent Polynean that was supposed to come out last month, now being pushed from this month, which was already pushed away one month, to next month. So I'm really mad about this, and uh, I'm sure that you guys will be too, especially a couple of you guys on the Discord who are very excited about Thick Cop, but uh, we're just gonna have to wait until then. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to show you guys. There's some figures on the floor. There's some Kappa cookies. Other than that, I don't know. Thanks for watching the video. Make sure to like it if you did like it. Make a comment on there. Make a comment, make one. And I'll be excited to receive that from you. I'm gonna link two videos right here, whatever. I don't know, click them if you want. If you don't want to, I don't care. I'm gonna end this video because I'm just tired and hungry. Good night, everyone. I love you.